Hello students, welcome to new video lecture of our channel Physics for Neat and JE. And in this video lecture, we are going to discuss mean life or average life of radioactive substance. Okay, and here we are actually discussing what is the derivation or how to derive what is the proof of average life or mean life to equal to 1 by lambda or lambda is decay constant or disintegration constant okay this proof needs some uh, extra or some application levels of integration that means integration by parts okay that uh, point that mathematical operation we are using in this proof okay in this derivation okay so let's go to the video average life or mean life tau equal to what is the equation sum of life times of sum of life times of life times of all nuclei in the sample sum of life times of all nuclei in the sample divided by total number of nuclei total number of nuclei present in the sample okay we need to find average life or mean life so we have to take lifetime of all nuclei in the sample divided by total how many nuclei are in the sample okay that will give mean life or average life okay what is n0 n0 is the initial number of nuclei n0 is initial number of nuclei okay that means the time is taken as zero starting at the observation okay initial number of nuclei t equal to zero and what is n n indicates number of nuclei number of nuclei left undecayed number of nuclei left undecayed or remaining at time t after time t what is the number of nuclei left undecayed remaining nuclei okay then dn indicates dn indicates what number of nuclei decayed number of nuclei decayed after a time t after a time t the number of nuclei decayed that is dn that is dn okay according to radioactive law radioactive decay law we know that rate of decay dn by dt equal to minus lambda n dn by dt equal to minus lambda n where n is the number of nuclei left undecayed and that n we can calculate using the equation n naught e raised to minus lambda t n naught e raised to minus lambda t so we can say dn by dt equal to what minus lambda n naught n zero e raised to minus lambda t minus lambda into n zero e raised to minus lambda t or here what is dn dn we will get minus lambda n zero e raised to minus lambda t into dt that is dn okay number of nuclei decayed after a time t okay number of nuclei decayed after a time t and then what is the lifetime of the nuclei decay total nuclei decay after a time t dn is the number of nuclei decay then lifetime of lifetime of nuclei decayed equal to equal to what t into dn 
total lifetime of nuclei decayed once more number of nuclei decayed is dn the decay the decay occurs after a time t okay so total lifetime of whole nuclei for one nuclei that is t for two nuclei 2 into t for three nuclei 3 into t for dn nuclei dn into t that is the lifetime of nuclei decayed lifetime of nuclei decayed okay so at time t equal to 0 number of nuclei is n naught at time t equal to 0 number of nuclei equal to n naught and at a time t equal to t at a particular time t equal to uh, number of nuclei n equal to what n equal to n and uh, this is equal to n and at a time t equal to infinity at a time t equal to infinity number of nuclei left undecayed equal to zero number of nuclei left undecayed equal to zero that means after the whole life time after the whole lifetime okay total number of nuclei left undecayed is zero that means total nuclei is decayed the whole all nuclei decayed that is why n equal to zero after a time t equal to infinity after a time t equal to infinity then what will be the lifetime of all nuclei in the sample lifetime of dn nucleus dn into t and we have to take lifetime of all nuclei in the sample so time we have to take from 0 to infinity time we have to take from 0 to infinity okay so we can say we can say total lifetime of all nuclei in the sample all nuclei in the sample equal to integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity t dn total lifetime of all nuclei in the sample time we have to take from 0 to infinity t dn 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity t dn what is dn dn we wrote here minus lambda n0 e raised to minus lambda t dt so we will get integral 0 to infinity t into lambda n0 e raised to minus lambda t e raised to minus lambda t dt and here we are taking only the magnitude because we are calculating the total time right okay time can never be negative so we are taking the magnitude t magnitude of dn so no need of considering this negative sign okay so integral 0 to infinity t into dn modulus of dn that is lambda n0 e raised to minus lambda t dt okay now we have to give this equation this uh, we have to give this term in the equation of tau sum of lifetimes of all nuclei in the sample by total number of nuclei that we have to integrate now we can give sum of lifetimes of all nuclei in the sample that is total lifetime of all nuclei in the sample that is tau equal to integral 0 to infinity 0 to infinity t lambda n 0 e raised to minus lambda t dt all divided by total number of nuclei present in the sample initial n0 this n0 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 will be cancelled and lambda will come outside it's constant dk constant tau equal to lambda into integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity t e raised to minus lambda t dt and here you can see 
two functions of type here 1t and e raised to minus lambda t so here we have to apply integration by parts integration by parts what is the equation of integration by parts listen carefully here integral u dv from x to y integral x to y u dv equal to u into v from x to y minus integral x to y v du integral x to y v du this is the equation this is the equation or method of integration by parts integration by parts okay when two functions are coming at a time as a product or as a division while we are integrating t dt and e raised to minus lambda t so here i give u as t instead of u i am giving t and instead of u i am giving t so we will get du equal to what dt du equal to what dt and instead of dv what is the instead of dv what is the e raised to minus lambda t dt e raised to minus lambda t dt is the instead of what dv okay so by integrating both sides what will we get integral dv is v right v equal to here integrating e raised to minus lambda t coefficient of t is lambda so minus lambda so we have to divide with that minus lambda so we will get e raised to minus lambda t divided by minus lambda that is v so we have to give we have to apply this method here okay so equal to lambda i am taking outside lambda into u this lambda taking outside right so u into v from x to y integration uh, from x to y upper limit is y and lower limit is x what is u what is u t okay t into what is v e raised to minus lambda t by minus lambda okay and here we have to give lower limit and upper limit that is 0 to infinity first term is over minus integral 0 to infinity v do v du what is v e raised to minus lambda t by minus lambda okay and what is by minus lambda uh, v du we need v du what is v e raised to minus lambda t by minus lambda into du is dt here dt okay now listen here is minus lambda on denominator and here also minus lambda on denominator we can take minus lambda outside right so taking minus lambda outside minus lambda by lambda okay lambda lambda will be cancelled and here we can give upper limit and lower limit okay so first giving lower limit zero so sorry first giving upper limit right alpha uh, sorry this is not alpha this is infinity okay infinity into e raised to minus infinity infinity into e raised to minus infinity e raised to minus infinity hi hey. anything power infinity is zero anything power infinity is zero so here we will get zero minus now we have to give zero for t zero in zero into e raised to zero that is zero okay so first term is zero minus zero minus now here we have to integrate e raised to minus lambda t e raised to minus lambda t dt by integrating we will get what e raised to minus lambda t by minus lambda here okay 
giving lower limit and upper limit 0 to infinity okay lambda lambda cancelled lambda lambda cancelled okay so here we will get lambda by lambda is cancelled okay minus of minus 0 minus 0 is 0 right okay no need of considering this minus of minus we will get plus okay tau equal to plus and here is one minus uh, lambda on denominator so we can take that minus lambda outside 1 by minus lambda and giving upper limit and lower limit for t e raised to minus infinity minus e raised to 0 this is minus 1 by lambda in the e raised to minus infinity that is 0 minus e raised to 0 is 1 we will get what minus 1 by lambda into minus 1 minus 1 by lambda into minus 1 we will get 1 by lambda this is the equation for mean life or average life and here we already studied that 0.693 by lambda is t half here 0.693 is actually what natural log 2 so half life of radioactive sample is 0 0.693 by lambda so from there we will get 1 by lambda equal to what t half by 0 0.693 t half by 0 0.693 by calculating the reciprocal of 0 0.693 we will get 1.443 t half 1.443 t half so mean life equal to what 1.443 half life 1.443 half life okay that is equal to reciprocal of decay constant or disintegration constant if you're watching this derivation once more you will get the idea very clearly and without any doubts okay this video is over and wait for the next interesting video okay i think this is beneficial for you best of luck thank you